On November 27, 2019, a team of physicists announced in the journal Nature that they had discovered a black hole in our galactic neighborhood that was 70 times the size of our sun. And the way they said they'd found it was they'd seen evidence in the light coming from this star system that the star in the system was orbiting really fast around another object in the system, and that whatever that other object was, we couldn't see it, but it was wiggling a little bit. What was happening there is pretty much like what happens if I were to swing a ball around. If the ball is a lot less heavy than I am, the ball's gonna do most of the moving, but I'm gonna move a little. And if you knew how heavy the ball was and how fast it was moving, you'd be able to calculate my mass because that, that's kind of the feature that's gonna determine how much I'm gonna wiggle along with the ball. And so, so they did a similar calculation there and they looked at uh, this light they thought was coming from the region around the black hole and they saw how much it was wiggling and they said, wow, it's really heavy. It's 70 times the mass of our sun. But then other researchers went and looked at it and within two weeks, this uh, trio of papers came out and they found a number of problems with the original paper, but the key issue they found is that that wiggling, that slight wiggling of another object in the system that they thought they saw, it wasn't really there. It was an error caused by the light from that star. That star that was swinging around, its light was getting mixed with that little bit of light that was coming from whatever was wiggling around, which they thought was the black hole, and making it look like the wiggling was happening. But whatever made that little bit of light, it wasn't wiggling. There are two possibilities there. Either the black hole is so heavy that as the star spins around it, it doesn't move at all. That's very unlikely. There's basically no way that a black hole that big could form in this region of space. And if it did, we'd probably know about it. There would be other evidence that it exists. So that leaves the other possibility that there is something in the system that's making that light, but it's not moving and there's a black hole in the system that's rotating with the star and making the star move that way, but they aren't the same thing. Or if they are the same thing, we're not interpreting the data correctly. Uh, so what they ultimately concluded is, the system's interesting, it's worth studying more, there's probably a black hole in it, but it's not 70 times the size of our sun. And physicists I spoke to about this, one of the things they said was, you know, this isn't a big failure for physics. This is how science works. You do work, you check your work, and sometimes other people come back and check your work. And you know, it's a little embarrassing when something gets into a journal and then turns out to have some major problems with it, but that's science. And sometimes you learn by learning what you got wrong previously. And that seems to be what happened here. Thank you.